Okay, so this is a Greek movie, and I believe my only experience with Greek cinema so far has been through Yorgos Lantimos, who made a movie called Dog Tooth, which I absolutely loved. But this one's made by Tonya Michiali, and it's a story about a middle-aged woman. A woman who lives a very mundane and seemingly rather stifling life. As sort of a stay-at-home wife with an older husband who isn't exactly the affectionate kind. She's also showing signs of going through menopause, hence the title. Which definitely isn't doing anything to make her situation any better. And overall, she seems to lead a pretty miserable existence, to be honest. And as sort of an escape from that reality, she basically starts to daydream. But not really in any kind of outrageous or obviously made up sense. But more in a kind of a down-to-earth alternative reality kind of way. A reality where she's a bit more confident and is able to stand up for herself a bit more too. And that's where the movie sort of shows you different takes on a lot of different scenes. Where you get to see how the situation could have played out differently. But you never really know when it's happening and when it's actually reality taking place. And that makes the whole movie sort of unreliable because you can't really take anything at face value. You can't ever really be sure if what you're seeing is actually happening or just another daydream. A technique which I've always found to be a bit annoying to be honest. After all, why should I care about what's taking place on screen if it's just gonna turn out to be a dream? But in this, for some reason it worked and it's actually what made the ending really interesting. It's basically what made the ending as good as it was and I found it to be really good. Mainly because, well, this movie is kind of sad and a bit depressing for the most part. It's definitely not cheery or uplifting and the further into it we get, the darker it gets. However, the ending did something a little bit unexpected. It actually managed to leave me with a smile on my face and I thought the way it wrapped it all up was brilliant. Now, I did kind of think and hope that it wouldn't end on too much of a bum note. Because then the whole thing would have just been super depressing. But the way it all came together with the daydreaming sequences weaved into it just ended up working so well. And yeah, I really liked what they did here and had they not pulled off the ending as well as they did, I would probably have a much less positive opinion of the movie as a whole. But I will say that the filmmaking in this is not shabby at all. Mainly because of how well it builds up this grey and oppressive life of the protagonist. And I mean the dialogue in this is very sparse and for the majority of the runtime there's no score either. But when the score finally kicks in it's just super effective and sort of breathes life into it all. So I can't help but to appreciate the craft that went into making this. But also the acting because the main performance here is really good. And I don't really have any real complaints about this one to be honest. It knew exactly what it set out to do and it did it. And that's really all you can ask of a movie. That being said, did I love it? No, I liked it and I appreciate the technical execution of it. But I don't know, this is just not my favorite type of movie, I guess. This kind of sad, quiet and very mellow and understated film. And well, I wouldn't call it visually stunning or anything either. It does look a little bit blandish, but definitely not bad or anything. And yeah, overall it's just a rather quaint but very solid little movie. One that even managed to surprise me a bit at the end. But how about it, would I recommend this? Yeah, why not? As long as you don't go in expecting it to be action-packed, because it definitely isn't. So, you know, maybe give this one a shot, or don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on PayPal or Patreon through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.